Good afternoon, everybody. This is North Carolina Pepper. Get our logo over there. Yay! Okay. Um, what we're doing today is not a knife sharpening video. Everybody knows how to sharpen knives and do all that good stuff. I want to talk about the importance of a microscope. Let me get this out of the way. Now, this, well, before we go in there, this blade looks really good. It looks sharp. It looks good. This is my beater knife, so I know it's all nicked up on the microscopic level. So, went down a while back and got a Toys R Us microscope. Because basically it does 900 times. Uh, it's not that I need 900 times. I'll probably do like 400 times. But, when you sharpen a knife... I guess it's kind of a knife sharpening video. When you sharpen a knife, what it does... Or when you hone a knife. I'm sorry, when you hone a knife... It's basically, there's a little, after you sharpen it, there's all these little fibers, there's like hairs off the edge of the knife. And when you hone it, it goes back and forth and breaks those hairs off. Okay? So, when you have a microscope for high power magnification, you can actually look at the edge and see what kind of job you did. So, I'm going to sharpen this knife off camera. Then I'm going to get the microscope out and see if I can put my cell phone to the microphone, or microscope, and show you what the what the edge really looks like not what I think it looks like here because oh it's good I hate these things these serrations so I got rid of them on the other knives but they're just too hard to sharpen but the point is this edge looks good here but is it is it really good it's kind of dull right now so I'm gonna sharpen it and I'll be back after I sharpen it and I'll, I'll get the microscope out and we'll see where we're at I'll be right back alright I couldn't really get the camera focused every time I tried to take a picture it would zoom in and out. So here's the crystals or the hairs. There's three pictures here, but here's the hairs that come off the knife. When you hone it, it breaks these off and it goes back to the edge. So let's continue. Okay, so I have to re edit this part and do it over because I didn't hit film. So I reset everything back up. There's a microscope and everything on there. Oh, there's a knife. It's clamped in for a clamp to hold it moving. So let me go ahead and get in there and show you what the, what the finished knife looks like. After I've broken off all the little crystals, so let me get in there. There you go. There's all kinds of dirt on the lens and everything now, grease, but that's uh, the micro, the uh, knife in there. So that's what it looks like. There's no crystals on it now. God, everything's so dirty in there now. Anyway, uh, the battery's dying on it, so there you go. All right, please rate and subscribe and. Um, you know, use a microscope to know what you've done to, to verify your work. So, yeah. All right. It's North Carolina Pepper. Please rate, subscribe, and, you know, get a microscope because you need one. All right. Please rate, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks.